we're going to talk about my father-in-law, your father, um, MP Reverend Kenneth Mishway, because as as a lot of you who may be watching knows, a video went viral. We're going to share in just a moment um, of him addressing the ANC, and, and it's interesting seeing some of the comments, um, you know, and I, sometimes people say something, I'll go, you know, he's been doing this for decades. This is not Absolutely. his first time yeah. doing this. Like, yeah. th now, you know, his words are, I think, are resonating even more, but he has not changed his message. That's right. Um, and so let's show the video and then I want to hear your thoughts, Olga. I want to remind the ANC today that Isaiah 54, 17 says that no weapon that is formed against Israel shall prosper and every tongue that rises against her in judgment, she will condemn. ANC, you have gone too far and your judgment As you is conclude, imminent. honorable member. When the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob said he will bless those who bless Israel and curse those who curse her. He was not joking, but he meant every word he said. You have invited the curse on yourself and you are going to get it. That, that's a rave. That's a rave. First of all, I want to say that that is a clip that has gone viral, but that is literally the last, if I'm not mistaken, minute mm -hmm. of his speech. I encourage everybody to go onto YouTube and to just Google it, find it, and watch the entire thing. The reason for that is that there are multiple forms, like truth bombs, that Reverend Mishra drops throughout his presentation. And one of the points in his um, response, and it was a response to the President State of the Nation address, which President Ramaphomic. Ramaphosa, excuse me, gave to the nation last week. So all of the different political parties have an opportunity to respond to what the president said. And Reverend Mishra was responding to what the president said in relation to the ANC, the South African government's support for the, 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 the state of quote unquote, Palestine and the Palestinian people. Now, when the uh, opposition really started to get rowdy and they started to heckle was when he raised the fact that if the ANC truly wanted, together with other players on the international stage, truly wanted to see an end to the war that is taking place between Hamas and Israel, there were three things that they could do that he was confident would end the war in approximately uh, three days, uh, excuse me, 30 days. And the first thing he said was go and get the hostages demand that Hamas releases them and releases them unconditionally. Then they started to squawk. And then mm -hmm. the second point that he raised was that um, Hamas then needed to destroy every single one of the tunnels that it has underneath Gaza, as well as those leading into Israel. He was like, destroy them, destroy them, because we know that that is one of the ways in which Hamas has embedded itself yep. in Gaza um, civil areas, like the civil infrastructure. And mm -hmm. that's why we see a lot of the casualties that we see that are not combatants. And he was like, destroy those um, tunnels. And then the third one is recognize Israel's right to exist within safe and secure borders. He raised the fact that Hamas has said time and time again that it doesn't recognize Israel's right to exist, that it wants to perpetuate on October 7 again and again and again. And he was like, how do you then have a two-state solution? How do you then see the creation of a Palestinian state that doesn't recognize and that doesn't want to live in peace with the neighbors? He was like, do those three things, international community as well as UANC, and then we'll start to see a change. And then that's when they really started to, to heckle and get all upset. And then that um, particular portion that we see where he quotes what the God of Israel says in the book of Isaiah in terms of no weapon formed against Israel will prosper. And he then calls out the fact that the ANC has gone too far in its propaganda in literally, and we've spoken about this on this forum before, it, um, the ANC has actually now just made itself a mouthpiece, not only for Hamas, but for Iran itself. Mm. And he called that out. The last thing that I'll comment on this, and this is the real last ending of, of his um, presentation, was Genesis 12.3. Many Christians, and even those that aren't Christians, but that like to reflect on Genesis 12.3, will say, ah, I'm going to bless Israel because God said that he's going to bless those who bless you. And we forget about the fact that Genesis 12.3, the second part of it says, I will curse those who curse you. Mm. Right. So the mm. fact that the ANC has taken this posture, has taken the stance against Israel and the Jewish people is going to demand and has demanded a curse on the ANC. And that curse is going to come because our God does not lie.